In 1845, when Texas became a state, there was a growing belief among Americans that nothing could stop the United States from reaching the Pacific Ocean. John O'Sullivan, a newspaper editor, gave a voice and a name to that belief when he wrote that it was our manifest destiny to overspread and possess the whole of the continent. To O'Sullivan, and to many others, it was perfectly clear, manifest, that the United States was destined to expand. The president at the time, James K. Polk, believed in the doctrine of manifest destiny. In fact, he had based his presidential campaign in 1844 on the principle of American expansion. A centerpiece of that campaign was the Oregon Territory. The northwest boundary between the United States and British North America had long been an open question. In dispute was the territory between the 42nd parallel and this line at 54 degrees, 40 minutes, north latitude. So, in 1818, Great Britain and America agreed to joint occupation. At various times, the United States proposed settling the line at the 49th parallel, but the British always refused. As more and more American settlers moved into the territory and the notion of manifest destiny took hold, a cry went up to claim all of Oregon. The 1844 Polk campaign slogan proclaimed, 54-40 or fight. And the next year, President Polk proposed ending the joint agreement with Britain. Expansionists rallied to the call, 54-40 or fight. But a fight never became necessary. In 1846, in a peaceful negotiation, Great Britain and the United States agreed to put the boundary where it is today, at the 49th parallel. From the Oregon Territory came the states of Washington, Idaho, and of course, Oregon.